Hey everyone, it's Deligracy here and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Seasons Part 7. Uh, we are back at our house and these autumnal decorations on the house are really frustrating me because I'm like, girl, we gotta get rid of them. It is no longer autumn. <laughs> anyway, it's 5.50 in the morning on a Monday. We've started a fresh week on day two of winter. It is freezing, it is snowing, and apparently it's gonna be a sun snow when the sun rises. Uh, and I think for some of the months, it's going to start getting like really, 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 uh, super duper dark. So enjoy the sun while it's here. <laughs> anyway, Judy is saying hello. Also, I love the way this snow sparkles. Look at that sparkle. Doesn't that look so nice and pretty? <gasps> love. Anyway, uh, let's see how the girls are doing. I think, um, I did wake them up a little earlier to work on their needs. They're feeling pretty good. They've also done their homework over the weekend, which is awesome. I feel like I'm finally a good Sims mama. Yay! <laughs> EJ's having a hot bath, which actually sounds so nice in the morning before school. But I'm actually thinking for fun that she should, what was she about to do? Play flick block? Yeah, I think she should just have some fun. Uh, flick on the other hand? why don't we get her to do like some quick um floristry before school i mean she may as well so let's change her outfit into something a little bit warmer because we don't want her to freeze her tartars off <laughs> so let's get her into a cute winter outfit we might actually need to make more winter outfits okay um oh what do we have here do we have we don't have any flowers uh yet our winter flowers are still growing so it's going to cost us $90 to make that. Um, I don't think so. I think we'll just keep making the cheapest option, which is daisies. Uh, that should be all good and well. Um, EJ's doing that. Bailey is just waking up in the morning. She needs a little bit of fun. You know what, Bailey? Why don't you have like a nice, quick and brisk shower? And Clarice? I mean, she's an elder. We should just let her sleep in. Let's just let her do her thing. Um, but after that, she'll probably need a shower and some food. All right, so Flick will be off to school. Uh, we've got our pay from being a retired... A, a retiree? Is that the right word? A retiree? I don't know. I think it's the right word. Um, so I like that. Why is she... She's like crying over herself. <laughs> I think it's more Victoria, but it makes me sad when Judy's sad. I'm like, no. Oh my gosh. Okay, cool. I think, uh, I think it's time for school. I think we are pretty much good to go. Oh, Flick, you're only just starting your flowers now. You are definitely not going to finish them before school starts. <laughs> also, Berger is just obsessed with the love flame. Like, this is Berger's spot. Berger just loves the, loves the fire. Definitely, like, an obsession. Um, okay, so Bailey is having some food. Ooh, there's like cold pizza in there. Oh, or not. You don't have to. Let's maybe serve some breakfast. I feel like we need some more breakfast things in the fridge. Maybe we could do a fruit and yogurt parfait. Uh, and you guys know I'm terrible with remembering that these guys are vegetarian. So I'm trying really hard in these episodes to remember. Oh, acquired the gourmet cooking skill. We're only level one of that. Oh my gosh, I love baby watermelons. Baby watermelons look so pretty in interior design. Are you serious? You really need a coffee, EJ. You really need a coffee before school. She's just definitely trying to be cool. Like she just thinks coffee is a thing to do. <laughs> I had a friend like that at um, high school who would just always, oh no, she put the coffee on for a mom. Okay, that's actually really cute. I had a friend I went to school with and uh, she used to always like come to school with a takeaway coffee. And it was, I, I don't even think she liked coffee. I'm pretty sure it was just because she wanted to look like she was kind of cool drinking yes. a takeaway coffee at school. Oh. Okay, oh. so uh, we have breakfast ready. Hey, boy. Yeah, boy. Clarice is up. Oh, she's gonna. Oh, she's such a good lady. She's like, well, I may as well eat the leftovers because oh, this will be nice and fresh for the girls uh, for tomorrow. Nice one. And I also have to say, I absolutely love this object. I know that's kind of a random thing to say, but I just feel like it makes this home look so homely uh -huh. and real. I just love it. Okay. So, oh, oh, I just missed a notification. What did that just say? Nice work, Felicity. Completing school projects really has a positive impact on your grades. Keep up the good work. Okay, that's cool. Happy. So we can uh, add this to the store later on. Uh, it looks like, I feel like these girls need to have a little bit of, 
No, mother daughter time. Oh, you Oh my gosh, they're doing it themselves. <laughs> Love that. And you know what? You should walk your dog every day. So I feel like we should just go for even just a tiny little walk. Just a little one. Um, did I say, did I actually do that right? No, I did not do that right. I did not do that right. Uh, go on walk, short walk. Enjoy. Another random thing I'm enjoying about this Let's Play house is I actually really love the stairs placed like this with the half wall it's just a little bit different to what I usually do I'd always put like a full wall there but the half wall makes it look kind of realistic gives the place a little bit of style so yeah okay I'm just gonna put those in there um there's a coffee that is on here I was like wait that's not the coffee we made and you, my dear, have almost finished this. So let's just speed it up, get these little morning routine things out of the way. We do have mail. Thank you very much. Love that. And we'll get, oh, I mean, Clarice's energy is like through the roof. She is an energized grandma. <gasps> I can't believe it's 10 a.m. and it's this dark. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. Anyway, pay our bills, 8,000. We're probably not going to, like, have... You know what? I think we should give away some of our money. Like, I think we have way too much money, which I know isn't something we should complain about. I just feel like gameplay will be more fun if we don't have, like, 181000 in the bank. Like, realistically, maybe this family has, like... Well, I mean, Clarice could have a lot of money us from her lifetime so maybe they could have like 60,000 in some money or 50,000 let's do 50,000 I just I just feel like 180,000 just shouldn't be available <laughs> I don't know maybe Clarice has kind of put everything she had into the other business and maybe she lost a bit of money um with like I don't know, like poor business or something or something to do with uh, Victoria passing away. Maybe she was unwell and had a lot of like bills that their private health didn't cover. Something like that we could say happened and they, uh, they had to have less money. Okay, yay for paying bills. I love paying bills in The Sims and I hate doing it in real life, but The Sims just makes me feel organized. Like, yes. <laughs> All right, Bailey, is that short walk almost done? Oh. I wonder if anyone is out and about for us to meet. Who is this? Who is this person? Could we make another friend? Hello. Why aren't you hovering? Arjun, how are you? Hi. Maybe she's just saying like, good morning while she passes by. Okay, we need to like make friends and we need to check up on a little business. So let's get, um... Let's go. Let's go to the business again and check out things. I also think after school, we should take the girls ice skating just because we haven't done that yet. And hello, that would be fun. And I feel like Felicity could do it as like an after school activity and get the full like get up, you know, um, with the cute little outfit, etc. Now we could, I mean, we could invite some other people to the park. We could invite... I mean, not to the park, to our store. We could invite Max. I feel like we should call things off with Jeffrey, though. I feel like Jeffrey and Bailey were just never meant to be together. I think she had some nice company with him and enjoyed, you know, being around him and a little bit of flirtation there. But are they soulmates? I don't think so. So I think we should do the right thing and just tell him, let's just be friends. Like, I really like you, but I just don't feel like this is a soulmate kind of thing. Did he agree? Oh, he seems to be okay. Bailey Barker and Jeffrey Ridley have decided to cool off their romantic relationship. He seemed fine with that. And you know what? I love the fact that we just have a friend that we can just chill with. We can just, like, talk about the weather to. He's such a nice guy. I love you, Jeffrey. I love you too, but not in that way, like in a friend way. Aww. Well, that that is nice. I love when that happens. Okay, do you want to leave now? I mean, you don't have to, but could you leave? Okay, um, 
The sprinkler doesn't seem to work in winter, I don't think. And... There's nothing we can really do out here. Are these even growing? I mean, I guess they are. I just thought they would grow a little bit more quickly and we could do more with them. Maybe winter flowers we don't even have to water because it's snowing. Like, I don't... I don't know! But everything here looks... Actually, every single thing here looks fine. Can we get the bees to, um... We should probably bond with these bees. Apply mite treatment. And... How do we... I guess there's nothing to pollinate yet. Because we don't have anything here. I'm not sure how we pollinate. I've done it before. I think it just comes up when you have things that have bloomed, maybe. I'm not sure. Do tell me in the comments down below if you know, and I'm going crazy. Okay, I'm going to put this other floristry arrangement here. Oh, I feel like that should totally fit on the bottom shelf, but whatevs. Um, let's add a vase. Let's do a confetti vase. Ew, no, 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 no. That looks like it's a, at a funeral. This looks like it's a ginormous leaf wrapped around it, which I don't like. White gold vase, transparent vase. Excuse me? How is... That is barely transparent. Come on. Come on. Am I crazy? That is not transparent. If that's transparent, water must be invisible. Okay, Winterfest vase. I mean, Winterfest vase might be okay because it's like Christmas coming up. Ah, that's better. I like that. Set for sale. I mean, that's a beautiful arrangement. Pristine. Oh, I get it. So we have like a quality, which is normal. And then the the plants are still pristine. So that's good. And we are not restocking <laughs> that, that item. Hell no. Okay, let's maybe hire someone. Because I feel like I don't want to waste this whole LP just working at the store, you know? Like, it's so much chatting to every customer before they buy something. I'd rather just get some staff. So let's manage some employees and let's see who wants to work here. Posey Garland could be a nice friend, maybe. Oh, she's probably an adult though. <gasps> this lady looks so nice, Autumn Dotson. Actually, who has the best skills? Strength. Why do, why do they need strength and handiness? Mm, I think actually Posey's the most qualified, so let's do that. Yay! All right, well, let's open and she can come to work and sell our amazing three bundles of joy over here. <laughs> it's not a whole lot, but it's a little bit. And I think, um, oh, is that what you're wearing to work today? Such a pretty girl, yet such an odd outfit. In the last part, we selected the outfits and it definitely wasn't this. Um, I just, you know, there's the bowling t-shirt with the business green skirt. Those colors are just clashing. I have a problem with that. Uh, oh, I see. Because we didn't assign the new uniform, maybe? There we go. Oh, that's better. She looks like a billion times better. Because our aesthetic is part of our marketing. Um, okay, well, enjoy. She should take care of them, right? Why aren't you working? <gasps> Teen! Friend! Friend! Okay, let's greet the customer and then we can invite Sapphire over to our house at a later stage. She seems to really like our store. I feel like she could be a potential best friend for the girls. Dag. Okay, um, I feel like you don't have to just stand at the cash register. Maybe we can answer customers' questions. That, that's probably the most laborious activity. So oh. we can get her to do that. Okay. Um, let's just get that happening. Oh my gosh, it's so cold today. It is freezing. Why isn't she doing her job? Thank you. <laughs> good grief. Good, good. Dear grief. Okay, let's maybe... Um, that's not the customer we want to greet. This one. Uh, we should just answer her questions, and this might get our relationship up as well, so when we invite her over, she'll actually come over and not just ditch us. Okay, I'm gonna let, um, what's her name? Posey? Posey do the rest? Oh, and Felicity is back from school. She didn't get her grades up, though, but EJ has now got her grades up to a B. Which is kind of weird, because Flick's the one who 
did the extra work. Like, so like, why is she still a C and EJ isn't? What? That's so weird. So weird. Also, when does she have her scouting? Um, just on the weekends. Okay. Well, we should, uh, we should bring EJ here. I mean, how's her mood? Her mood's pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Uh, so we'll bring them here. Because I think Flick should, um, do a little bit of homework. Why are we not selling anything? We have to do everything ourselves around here. This is, like, the first time Bailey's ever had to do anything, and she's like, uh, Oh, thank you. There we go. We've got a customer. We've sold one of them. Bring up customer. Thank you. And uh, we'll get Victoria here just to work on our homework. I at least want her to be. I, just, I feel like she needs to do a little bit better than a C. Uh, because she's, she's a smart girl. Okay, where is she though? Alright, I think what we're going to do is get her to go for a little bit of a jog. Because we want to get some of those exercise badges. So let's go jogging. Oh, we got the bluebells for $18. I mean, it covers the cost of making them. Oh, Max is wondering if I want to come over. Oh, yes. Yes, let's go see our dad. Absolutely. That's so nice. He wants to see his daughter after school on a Monday. Oh, maybe they should all go ice skating together, but I do want Flick to finish her homework first. So she learns. Oh. Oh dear. Okay, we did not cover our expenses. It closed automatically. I thought it would still be open. <sighs> uh, oh, are you serious, Max? <sighs> Did he actually invite us over just to ditch us? Um, okay. Okay then. Well, this is Max's house. This is a house that I got off the gallery, actually. I thought it was really cute. Uh, it's just like a nice little house. One of you guys might have actually made it. And it's very, it's very basic, but it's just like nice, it works, or it's kind of cool that EJ can hang out here sometimes, but I do want her to go jogging. Because um, we've got to get that exercise badge. Okay, so she's jogging. No one else is home. I wonder if the ice skating park has spawned around here. Because if it has, is that it? <gasps> yes. <laughs> Let's bring Flick over to here. Her homework's only like... Yeah, half done. Okay, she didn't finish her homework. Maybe she should hang out with EJ at EJ's dad's house and do her homework there. Why? Why is, oh wait, of course, oh my gosh, I'm such a noob, I was like, why is EJ jogging? Obviously, because we told her to. Okay, so Flick's already inside in the warmth. Good girl, do some homework. It is getting late, so we do need to do the ice skating soon. And oh my gosh, you must be freezing. I don't want her to get super cold like, um, like Elliot did in the last episode. We don't want her to freeze her tatas off, so, you know, nice little jog. Okay, I'm just watching to see if any badge stuff appears, or maybe it's going to finish. Maybe she has to finish first before she gets the, the badge icon. <gasps> Yay, she did get the badge icon! Excellent, that's all she had to do? My god, let's do it again then. Uh, also, how cute is this? How the ice freezes over the lakes and it's kind of reflective. <gasps> oh, pardon me. Bless me. Although, is this graphic kind of a bit lackluster? Oh, no, good. There is a reflection. Hmm. I feel like it's reflective from the side, but not really on top, which I don't like as much. But I like, I like it from this angle. That's really pretty. Okay, and why is Flick, um, oh, she needs to use the bathroom. And she's a little bit hungry as well. Okay, uh, I might just speed things up a little bit. EJ, do you want to come inside? What is she doing? I'm not sure what she's doing right there. Oh, taking a selfie. She's like, winter days, hashtag, freezing, hashtag. Oh my gosh, dad is so cold. Poor guy. He's like, let's get this. Let's get this fire started. Okay. 
Let them just have a little moment. Oh, she's so pretty. I, I actually legitimately love AJ. She should try and uh, say to her dad, like influence her dad to try vegetarian meals. Oh, and yay! Flick's uh, responsibility is going well. Oh, her character value for responsibility is doing really, really well. Fantastic. Max agrees. Maybe vegetarianism isn't as intimidating as he thought. Max might just grab a bite and see what it's all about. Yay! Okay, well, now that Flick's done her homework, I think um, Bailey should use the bathroom and then she should do some homework herself. But what I wanted to do is get Flick to have a go at skating. I mean, we won't get at the outfit until she's had a little bit of a practice. Oh, is this Olivia? Oh, that's awesome. Olivia's here. Uh, let's just do a friendly introduction. She can be like, hey, um, you're my mom's friend from school, right? Olivia's like, yeah, so you're gonna get into, into the rink? She's like, yeah. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Oh dear. Hold on, let's just get you to go skating. Let's just skate around, get her started after that. Where's the fire? Oh my gosh, he's on fire! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, extinguish, extinguish. Her dad's on fire? Oh, that is so scary. Acquired the fitness skill. Nice one, Flick. Actually, oh, she's a whisker. She's like, Dad, don't scare me like that. Clearly, you're not cooking, are you? Maybe vegetarianism isn't such a great idea for you. <laughs> he was probably trying to cook her a meal because she was hungry and he's just not good at it. Oh. Now, with this skating rink, look at Flick go. Oh, she's a little learner, so she's she's kind of you know struggling a little bit. Let's um put some autoplay on and let's customize the rink with some lighting. Ah, twinkles would be cool. Oh, look at the twinkles on the ground. What else can we do here? Uh, oh, this music's very like, I don't know, kind of cute. Okay, um, so Bailey's gonna go there. We can set effects as well. Confetti, snowflakes, sparkles. No, wait, that's, wait, set the lighting, set the effects. Customize. Sparkles? Oh, I see the effects now. Oh, that's cool. Look at all the sparkles around them. Someone do a trick. I want to see someone do a trick. They look so cute wandering around the rink. Actually, I have to say, I have never been ice skating. And I don't plan to because I was the only kid at school when we went rollerblading who couldn't do it. Do you know how humiliating that was? It was... It was really embarrassing. I just couldn't do it, you guys. I don't know. Is, can all of you rollerblade? Was it just me? Do I have a problem? Or is it common that a lot of us can't rollerblade? Maybe it's like a percentage of two out of 40 people can't do it. So anyway, that is basically why I have decided never ever to ice skate. And also the shoes scare me. Like, I feel like I'm gonna get my fingers cut off if I fall over and then someone like runs over them. <laughs> Okay, so it's 10 o'clock at night now, so I feel like this is, this, they've had enough time on the ice skating rink. I mean, it's really, really cute. Um, did we get a little bonus from that for scouting? We didn't get any activity badge progress for that? That kind of sucks. I feel like that is really active. Oh, well. Well, let's, um, we are pretty hungry, so maybe when they do ice skating after school, they're allowed to get, like, a treat. Um, maybe, like, I want to... I want them to eat something proper. So she should ask for a curry. I'm hoping that that curry is vegetarian safe. Oh, she already ordered herself a coffee as well. <laughs> oh, maybe. I mean, it looks like she had ordered coffee. Maybe not. So I have a whole heap of like winds coming into my apartment. You guys have probably heard that the whole time. <laughs> Sorry about that. And Flick isn't vegetarian. So she can have the seafood chowder. That's cool. That is all good and well. Uh, cool. All right, that car looks really good. 
She should learn the recipe for that. So, it looks delicious. No oh my gosh, look at the number. They look so cute while it's snowing. So yeah. I think we've finally found something to kind of have common ground in. Like ice skating was really fun together. I think they're making friends and enjoying having some time together outdoors in the winter snow. Yay! Because they're quite different types of girls, you know. All right, well, I think it's time that these both, these both head home. Oh my goodness, can't talk. This guy is yelling so loudly in my ear. I just, I can't right now. Oh, and the girls are absolutely exhausted after ice skating too. So let's see how they did. Um, I don't think there's like an ice skating skill per se, but it there's like a secret skill and you up your fitness too. I think that's... Yeah, I think that's how it works. Um, yeah, because their fitness has gone up. All right, we are back home. EJ's gone straight up to bed. She's absolutely so exhausted. And Flick's about to go upstairs to her lovely season's bed, which I think is so pretty. I love it how they just turn on all the lights and don't care that there's another sim asleep. And look, little Burger's being such a good doggy. <gasps> I love looking at the snow out the window. Isn't that so pretty, you guys? Oh, now it makes me kind of want to go to the snow. I kind of love it. Now, in terms of Bailey, she's about to collapse, so she's hopping into bed as well. Um, and Clarice is already in bed, so I think we'll stop it right there. I think we've had another good day. Was the shower moving? Oh, good. It's not just me. I thought I was going crazy, but clearly it's probably Judy having a little bit of fun over there. <laughs> Or maybe, maybe, maybe it's Victoria. Um, but anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. No, wait, we have to change the decorations. I am not going to start another part with those decorations up. I'm sorry, Clarice, I'm going to get you out of bed to reset um, and select the everyday decorations. Let's put some fence decorations up, I think. Uh, what do we want for like a wintry? Oh my gosh, the stars are so cute. They probably don't twinkle though. Let's get some like icicle lights um, for along the house. Maybe will the blue ones be nice enough? Hmm, I kind of wanted a light a lighter blue, but that should that should be fine. And then I also want to put up some spandrel decorations. And maybe these ones we should do the the silver stars. Alrighty, you guys, I've put up the decorations. I decided to go with these more rounded, um, wintry looking lights with the blue and the silver color for the fencing instead of the icicles, because I just, I just preferred these. And then the stars are a little bit difficult to see in winter, probably not the best choice, but I still think it looks kind of pretty. So we can change that to lights in the next part. But as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.